Hey guys, so we're going to be unboxing the movies photo essay of Pure Love. It looks like they're calling it unforgettable here. So this is everything you get. You get some cards, you get what looks like a mini just laminated poster signed on one side. Just like a movie poster cover on the other. It's really, really nice. And then you get your photo book. I'm going to start with the photo book and then I'll get to these cards at the end. So I finally watched the movie. So I'm really happy about that. I thought the movie was really good. The acting was good. Let's zoom out a little bit. Where's the wrong way? There we go. Ooh, these pages are pretty thick. I thought it was kind of funny listening to them all talk in accent too. So the movie was very, very sad. I don't want to kind of say what happened in the whole movie. But, oh, I cried at the end, for sure. I mean, it was a very sad ending, but the movie overall was good. Watching Dio's, like, love story. Ugh, because they did have older actors in the movie as well. And so the movie was almost like a big, long, almost like flashback to certain moments. And they were very long flashbacks, but... So they're really nice. Um. I don't like all this white space. I wish they would have put like nice lines or script almost from those the scenes. So this white space just feels like a waste. And this actor, too, he was in a, uh, a drama called Shark. Really, really good. And he was in one a um, long time ago. He played, like, an autistic kid, I do believe. Really, really good. Oh, I can't remember the name of the drama off the top of my head. I haven't seen it in a while. But at first I thought the movie was going to be about how she fell in love with him instead of Dio's character or something until they got like older. Uh, when they go back around to falling in love with each other, that's not how it went. So that took me for a turn. Um, this is probably one of my favorite images that they used to kind of promote this movie. Ooh, that was right after Dio got slept. Oh, there we go. 
Ugh. Oh, this is right after she found out about her foot surgery. Because I guess one of her legs is stiff, like she can't turn the joint, I believe, like in her leg, like at her ankle. Ugh. I got emotional at this part. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Kind of remind me of like um, the candy kiss. The candy, the cotton candy kiss from um, that winter, if the wind blows. Or something like that show. Oh, I loved it. I was like, she just needs some scooch up in there just a little bit. Oh, Oh, their outfits are so ridiculous. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Kind of just like some end credits. And that was it. So you don't get any discs or anything like that. So it's not like you get an OST or some like kind of soundtrack from the movie. So, and then let's look at the book, the little cards we get. Hmm. So they're about a postcard size. <laughs> Curly hair made me laugh almost this entire movie. Oh, this probably has to be one of my favorite moments of the whole movie. Alright, so that is everything that you get. I highly, highly recommend the movie, especially if you're an XO fan or a fan of just Dio in general or any of the actors in this movie. It was beautiful. The story was really good. It was well written. I was bawling my eyes out at the end. I was like, I almost had to pause the movie because I couldn't read the subtitles anymore because I was, it, the ending is very sad. I don't want to ruin it for you guys if you're going to watch it, if you haven't already seen it. But it is a beautiful, beautiful movie. Like the accents and like that curly hair of one of the, ac the actors and the clothes kind of just make me laugh. <sighs> and watching the love story is just, it was beautiful. I loved it. So I highly recommend it. Let me know if you guys saw it and leave your comments down in the description, in the comments below on what you thought. Um, but I really liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Like and subscribe and until the next video. Bye guys.